Hello again, everybody. At Harry Box of the Technical Trader at TechTrader.com. It is Thursday the 15th. It leads to the charts of the day. We had a tough day. Market did come back, but um, markets are still under pressure. I'm not sure what the direction is right now. We are fairly oversold, to say the least. But individually, a lot of stocks are always available for day trading. I'm going to go over some longs and shorts today. And for starts, we're going to start with. Hold on a moment. Wrong section. I want to do this for you. Okay. We're going to start today with CSIQ, which, looking at the overall chart, has been basing out, breaking out, retesting twice here, and then moving back up again. If this is your rising channel, I'm looking for something in the 29 and then 34 range. I think once you get across the spike high from early March, which is about 25.89, this thing should make that move. Big buy-in today, 4.4 million. Good earnings report of late. I think it moves, this moves higher. Huya had a really outstanding performance today as it popped. $1.79 or 8.4% on a solid volume of uh, 5.2 million. And you can see that it popped up and broke through uh, and closed above some key resistance. That should lead to, I think, to 25 and a half, three quarters, maybe 26 short term, secondary target 29.30. INMD uh, in mode, a fairly, fairly recent IPO. You can see the pop coil after the IPO and then the explosive gap here on the 14th, which created another wedge and then a pop and run. Overall, a huge move off the IPL lows, which are around 13, up to about uh, eight, almost 18 three quarters, and the stock momentum has momentum now that could carry it to 20, 20 and a half, 21 zone. INS, one of my top picks for the year, and probably the best pick because it's gone from like 12, 13 all the way up into the high 40s near 50. Uh, at this point, this rising channel is still intact. It looks like current action with a right hand extended V and a flag platform here. Uh, or a cup and handle, whatever you want to call it. If this thing gets above the uh, recent spike high at 51 and a half, we can see the stock move to 60, 65, and even 75, 80. Really intriguing stock. NVAX exploded yesterday, had a nice follow through today. We do have resistance at about 715 and then 790. Those are my near term targets, but I think on an overall basis, once we get above that area, we may see something run up into the low teens. Overstock had a plunge out for three days on some negative news about the CEO, but the stock held to 50 and then surged back nicely to that 249. It's almost 16% on 10.7 million. Really good volume for the stock. So I'm thinking if it gets to here and it's something you want to really watch closely, we can get it up to there. We may see a new trend uh, emerging, which could be upwards of 28 to 30 zone uh, if it can take out the highs for the near term target. It's 24.5, and then we're looking at 28.30. But it's got to have a follow through date to what it had today. Arcadia, um, luckily for us, we made a nice swing trade on this one from about 5.15 all the way up to 9.15, $4 in a day and a half. Beautiful. Uh, there is some momentum that could carry this as high as 10.40. I'm looking for that, but it's overdue for a pullback. Vips, rips, the stock exploded with a breakaway gap today and ran 94 cents or 15% on. A mere 23.7 million, the biggest volume on an up day. And I can see going way back to May of 2017, two years. Now, if we continue here, the near term target would be about eight, eight and a quarter. And then I'm looking for a test of this high, about nine. Zyam popped out of a consolidation zone today and pulled back, but net net was up about 4%. Volume picked up. I need this to extend. I'm looking for 28. Um, and a half, uh, three quarters at the retest the high from back in June. And finally, Zixi on the long side popped out. Um, looks like it's moving uh, solidly with some volume increasing and OBV increasing. I uh, need to get this stock to test and take out this area right where it is. We do that, we should see near 12 and up in the 15, 16 range. And now look at some shorts that we've been following and they're recommending over the last few months. Biohaven, a tech trader swing short, which came down from the wedge and we went short. The stock has dropped from 44 to 37. It looks like it had a lower, targeting 40, 34 and a half and 29 and a half. HCSG, well, um, you know, distinctly broke down from a head and shoulders here from the wedge, another wedge, another flag. It just looks bearish, but it is at the bottom of the channel. And I wanted to if give you a heads up because it's gone from 54 to 21 and um, maybe at the bottom of the channel due for a snapback. MIME looks like a head and shoulders that just completed with a breakdown today through the trend line and the neckline. Targeting 37 and three quarters and then down to 31. Taylor Brands looks like it's going down forever. This is a perfect example of a perfect short. And I, that's why I always bring it up to you. A massive top, a breakdown, a bear flag, another bear, a rising wedge, another bear flag, a wedge, and it keeps making lower lows. This stock got down to 423 today. 
In May of last year, it traded at 36. Pretty ugly. Trip advisor, a tech trader swing short from when it broke down and formed the wedge in there about 52. And subsequently it made it down to 38 and change. And although it's at the bottom of the channel near support, I think longer term it goes lower. However, I would cover in this range. URA, United Rentals, also a tech trader swing, This uh, or look, one that I was considering. This is a, a breakdown, large consolidation, and then a break of double bottom support. Target, 83.4. And finally, Bungo Wireless or um, Wi-Fi. Massive top formation. Uh, it had a big wedge after it broke down. This was your wedge. And then it broke down from the little wedge, broke down through support, retested it, tested the bottom again, and snapped back to the moving average. But this thing's on straight down to eraser from 19 to 11 or less. And it looks like it's getting near a support level, which may entail covering it. For now, though, that's the long and short of it. This is HP signing off. Have a good evening.